about lane. Sure, Moskov can work again. Yeah. You want to go three Moskov Harith, games? Harith, perhaps? Harith. I, I think, think Harith can work, but again, it really depends on how much the Ling farms. Because if the yeah. Ling falls behind early, so easy to just build around the f magical defense. Ooh, how about a uh, Popol and Koopa coming out from Arnegay Sports? It's not a hero. It's it's a hero that they all also use. It's yeah. quite fast tempo. If you Take think turrets down. It. Exactly. I think a better option if they want to just see turrets down is the Brody. No. The yes. Brody. I feel like the, there's so Brody's many good. things that only each bot can do Wait. with this one, right? Can they go for the Melissa here? The no, Beatrix. Okay. Beatrix. Yeah. Okay. Beatrix. You know this. You know we always say like all reliable. Sure we, we we look at like good heroes like Moskov, like Popol, Kuba, like Bruno, Brody even, but they go back to the Beatrix. Dude, I like it's the fact meta. that <laughs> I like the fact that the desk was literally say, hey, you know what? Go to Meta. Go to Meta. CW go to Meta, and then we, when he, CW goes back to Meta, you yeah. guys have something to say about him. He yeah. does everything. We don't want him to do <laughs> exactly, but this time though, this is good news for Arnik Esports and especially the fans of Arnik Esports. We're gonna see a lot of like standard gameplay, and maybe we can unleash the full potential of the players of Arnik Esports meta heroes right now with the Ling and the Beatrix. Can you actually go wrong with this composition of the Indonesian squad? I think the Beatrix is really good here, right? Right now, it's just this massive big composition. You have the troll to use. Um, to kick someone into the Beatrix so that he could clean it up. You got a burst damage on the Beatrix, especially the Nibiru. But with that said, we can theory craft, but let's head into game. Game number three, the Valley going up against Arctic Esports. What I know about Kyrie is he hates the Demon Slayer emblem, and yeah, he does go for the Killing Spree emblem here as well in this game. So more priority on rotating across the map, looking for kills, not on farming. Yeah. And of course, you can expect the Link to kind of play passively this time, unless they want to activate the side names. But when it comes to the turtle fights, don't be surprised if Team Valley just takes all of the, those turtles. Onyx, Onyx Esports choosing to go for this Link, they cannot tell us that they want to go to the late game instead of the early stages. I feel like Onyx, right? Like I said, it's a very heavy pick composition. You can pick with the, with the glue, you can pick with that troll, and then you can technically pick with the sands, uh, with sands, right? Then Kyrie come in to clean it up, pick someone into the C uh, CW's Nibiru's Passion, or even the Bandit's Reach as well. That's a lot of damage from the side of Onyx. Whereas on the side of the Valley, they need to fight together as a team fight. All of them need to land their shots. The Wild Charge, the Luminum Blast, and down, even down to the dates on his welcome. Oh, did Kyrie actually steal that? Yeah, I think yeah, he did. He did. He did. Stole it away, getting just a, a bit more XP, but Mopa Zane's still gonna have the better time clearing the jungle. Demon Slayer, Barats, a lot of damage to play with there. Even going for the invade early yep. on. Yep, I think they do have the invade priority because Keyboy is looking a little bit low, and Mopa Zane right oh. here is already at full stack, so he's gonna have a lot of armor, a lot of magic resist. Link is not in the area, with, they've already confirmed it because they need to hover around the turtle pit. Yep. The mid lane too, right? I mean, the mid control is just. Phenomenal from the Lilia. Kyrie already trying to contest this one. Mobazane reads out the situation, knows that, hey, something fishy is going around. Mid lane is missing, right? So he goes for it. Who takes that? I, Kyrie? I, I, we, so I like close. I like the I fact that. See it. Guys, I like the fact that we're like Kyrie. Yeah. talking about non critical minion uh, jungle creep <laughs> take, right? This is not critical. This is not a purple or the orange, but the more critical one yeah. will be this turtle fight. Well, here it is. Luminum Blast going to be popped in. Boots going to be stunned up. Death to his welcome as well. Oh, the Alter is there to save his life for a bit. First blood over to the valley. Did Keyboy, though, backing away. And that's a turtle take for Monik. Yeah. Getting the turtle means that carry will have a little bit of an advantage for Mobazami. It will not be that valuable, though. The fact that they lost Boots just like that. Really not good for Onyx um, Esports in the early mm -hmm. stages of the game. But it is what it is. At least they traded. Imagine if Boots went down without any trade for Onyx Esports. That's even more annoying for their squad. Yep. It is going to be Beatrix building that component item just to get that extra armor pen, right? Then after that, go full force uh, BOD. That's one of the core items for that Beatrix as well. Apart from that, the Beatrix skipped the boots to put in more gold so that he could get that ability faster. Two members locked up by K-Boy. Uh-oh, that's a lot of damage on you, K-Boy. You're so low. Kyrie jumps in. Does he get it? Oh, Zane. 
He takes it away. Yeah, man. Zane mm -hmm. takes you away. But looking at the emblems, you're right. Kyrie doesn't really like the ki killing streak. Personally, I'm also on his side, right? I don't like the, the Demon Just Slayer the, yeah. uh, kind of uh, emblem because I feel like, especially as the Ling, going up against uh, the Valley that likes to fight with these long drawn out fights, if you allow Kyrie to pick up a kill, especially it is Kyrie's playstyle as well. You pick up a kill, you get in the region, you get in the movement speed to get more kills. So that's how Onyx likes to play these yeah. assassins. We are just literally watching the laning stage with what? Kyrie and Mobazine just fighting it through of mini, mini yeah. objectives. But all throughout, Boots and Fight Chicken just duking it out, trying to out, outsmart each other. That's also true with CW and the basic. Very standard game from both teams. What the only just farm. Yeah, just swallow farm. And honestly, looking at it right now, Right, that's why we're talking about the little uh, creeps here, yes. creep steals, because that's what's matter, what's mattering right now early on. Without yeah. neutral objectives, that's what they're fighting for. I can't believe we have to devolve into this. Not even this. team fights, yeah. Yeah, we don't need to devolve into this. Like, we talk about small little wins. This, I mean, this small little wins. This is highest level Mobile Legends, right? Every single win will add up. Keyboy, or are they looking for? Ajit Kundo jumps in on the Mobile Zane with the way okay. the Dragon is well for the Luna. Blast! Connects onto two. White Chicken jumps in. The cult alter as well. Hoon finds the turtle. Because the blade is going to be popped in. Hoon's going to be able to find Keyboy. But Kyrie dashing all across the place will mean that Sans will be able to pick up Moba Zane. One for one. It's a trade back again. It's a kill over to Onik. The Valley picks up a kill yep. and the turtle. All about trades this time. Yeah. But then again, the fact that Hoon actually secured it without any you CW actually stay here in the mid lane. Just for a double lane setup. He just wants to farm. And the fact that the Beatrix has got an extra lane of minions over the carry because he can transfer to the mid lane. Again, small advantages that both teams are looking for. Oh, ZW wants to look for a steal here. He oh, gets it. He wow. beats it. <laughs> I, 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 really, we're really going to down, go down to these small little details. That's here's a big a, play. That's a big play. <laughs> that's a big detail, all right? But M4 stats, here's the Valley ranking first in turret damage with game, per game with 26,000. That's a big amount of damage. That's because they have a higher KDA. They have a higher KDA that translate into Lord, that translate into you know map dominance, that translate into a lot of things. And that's the, the Valley yep. playstyle, right? CW already has got the Blade of Despair. It's actually level 8 compared to... Well, he is far from level 8 and basically only got his. That kind of tells us that there's a little bit more farm onto CW as compared to the carry. This means that activation coming up from Monarch Esports could be theirs. Especially with the Berserker's Fury up on carry as well. Very early on, Keyboy though, getting out. Mm. No, not just yet. The Deathless Welcome finds it. Keyboy not what? gonna pin down against the wall. He knows that he won't have damage either way, so might as well put him against the turret. CW can be caught. Called Alter is ready. Silence up, and CW is gonna be able to flicker out. Kyrie assassinating Hoon in the back line is basic. Goes for the turret, finds it, but will be taken low. Basic. Some of the blades gonna be popped here, and that's two kills on the board. Kyrie looking for a third. Not gonna be able to find it. Two for one. CW falling to the hands of White Chicken there with a wild charge. Gets out of the stampede with a part of nature, but it's gonna be knocked up by the Jiku Do. Away the dragon on the Moba Zane. Locks oh. it up. Boots jumps in with a slam slam pass pass. Drop back Moba Zane against the world. Kyrie dashing out. Boots onto him right now with a split split. Moba so Zane very low, still able to actually sustain back up. White Chicken, no wild charge. Deathless Welcome still available for Moba Zane. On eSports with the wise choice, backing away from the turtle. But Boots is still here on the glue. Flickering wow. out to safety. We'll mean that again. Both teams wow. disengage. But now it's Kyrie on to the purple buff, stealing it away. I mean, small little small wins, right? Wins. It's so micro. This game, oh, oh, this oh, oh, other oh, game. Oh, 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 so close. But that's another win over the side of Onik with that turn. Take down. Never mind, it's a trade. It's a trade. <laughs> My goodness, these two teams are so good at the game. They're just trading, literally. I can't believe I'm saying this, ladies and gentlemen. The Valley is making it feel like they are on par yeah. with Onyx Esports. Well, because they are. Macro, one, yes. one. Literally. Even the trades, there's nothing free in this game. Surely the turtle goes in favor of the Valley, but Kyrie gets the purple buff on the side of the Valley, then they get a turn oh. up top. And then eventually Onyx Esports you see uh, CW dying once, as well as, you know, basic. So everybody's just trading, literally. No clear winner, just as... Yeah, no unless, clear winner. Uh, unless, you know, Kyrie goes for the push onto the bottom lane. Uh-oh, there you go. Kyrie Ball goes wins. for the turret here. Keyboy spots the conceal play. And the Valley says, hey, you take bottom side, let's try to take top side now.
CW and Keyboy trying to defend. That's the Renner. Actually oh, clearing it out. Oh, oh, the oh. Blast was charged in, but it's going to be cancelled away. They don't have the minions to play with for that dive. Man, so much value from the from the sniper shot coming from CW, clearing out the minions up top. Wow. Small values, dude. This is such an intense game right now. It's like a chess game, right? Yeah. Oh. While we're in a slow game, this is exactly the moment we need to check the items. Looking at the items right now, it's going to be Berserker Fury and the Windtalker already built for that Ling. The Ling is actually 1k gold lead. And the best part is, there's a lot more mobility for Onik. Right now, Onik, what they can do is to use that use Kyrie to jump from one lane to another, take down turrets. And that's exactly what Onik has been doing for the past, yeah. like, I don't, I don't know, maybe like five minutes or, or so when they know how the game has devolved into. But another thing that I always like to point out from the side of the valley is they have a massive good clear that can shove as yeah. five and then rotate to the other lane. You know, I would say Kyrie is just styling on the itemization all of these casual items. So when he was Karina going for the Molten Essence as well as the Steel Leg Blaze as casual items, now as the Ling, he's going for a casual what? Swift Crossbow. Yep. And then completes other items, making so that the value he gets from the early items pays Honestly. dividends in the end. Mm -hmm. Looking at the game though, and drafts here, the Valley, I think they're completely fine with just taking the game slow, right? Yeah. They have a Lilia, they have a carry. If it goes to the late game, it's going to be a 50-50, and I think that's a 50-50 that the Valley wants to take. Keyboy, though, with the way the Dragon bringing Moba Zane back in. Kyrie jumping in onto Moba Zane. They're good for the assassination. Doesn't have blast. Doesn't connect onto anyone. Zahn still able to survive, but not for long. Basic says no. Kyrie on the walls, gets out. Jungler for Sans, but he spawns back in yeah. with a passive. That's the power of giving out Sans, right? But there you go. It's going to be the Bandit's Rage clearing it up. I like what Onyx is doing. Instead of focusing as an assassin, you want to go for the back line. But you know basic is very elusive. So Onyx went for the target uh, assassination on top onto Mobile Zane instead. Knowing that he's on the Demon um, Demon Slayer Emblem, knowing that he needs a level to scale and outreach you in a retro battle. But hold on a second. A lot of emphasis on Hoon right now. Hoon spots it out. White Chicken, this is it. He can go for the steal. He jumps in with the Temple of the Blades. Comes in from Kyrie. And CW finds it. Sans with the Stampede. Bring the basic back. Only to deal damage. Numenon Blast. Charged in. Doesn't find anyone. It's a 1 for 1. Lord for Sans. Wow. They will eventually clear the waves. Manage my, my goodness. All right. I'm going to say. We were impressed by the mouse that come out on CW, right? Even through losses, even through wins. But my oh my, if he holds a meta here like the Bear Chicks, he looks wonderful. You saw how he managed to utilize the render shots against Mobile Zane when Mobile Zane was kicked in the middle. Then eventually transfers into the better to kind of clear the wave in the middle. Then into the Lord fight, he knows exactly what he needed to do. Chucks down the Lord with the sniper shots, eventually stealing with the SMG. Then transfers into the mid lane, gets out, seen to safety. Styling on the valley. Clears the way with the Bennett, right? Exactly. What the hell is happening? He looks good with the non-meta heroes. Boy, look what he can do with the meta heroes. Yeah. I mean, right now, the only weapon he isn't utilizing is the Wesker, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, Fight Chicken is going to be targeted down. Kyrie is taking it personal. That Wow, charge! Okay. Oh! oh! Beautiful oh! one charge! On to Kyrie, who's going to be caught here. Keyboy as well. Zooming up, last! Charging again! Finding two! But it's only the two members, CW and Sans, who's still able to kind of away. CW flickers out, basically doing damage, but Boots jumps in onto the split sniper. split on towards Moba Zane. Basic slow, CW is doing the damage <laughs> onto Moba Zane. 800 gold lead still being held onto by Onik Esports, but hey, the Valley, that was a good trade, right? It's two for two against Onik, who have the lead. Yeah, there's another saying, right? No matter how good the squirrel can jump, it will always land on the ground. That's exactly what happened to Onik. Well, Onik is called Porcupine, but you get the point, right? Kyrie jumped right into the valley, and that was yeah. a mistake. And the valley converted that into a kill. He converted that into tempo, which the valley desperately need, especially when Onik has full map control. Are you not entertained about this? I am entertained. Not a micro outlays. Even I'm entertained. When, yeah. Fine chicken. He waited for the Tempest of Blades to come in, sticks to the wall so that the power of nature will allow you to be crowd control immune. When Kyrie goes down with the Tempest of Blades, already you have that power of nature prepared, and there's a lot of damage onto Kyrie with all of the damage items that this x billion rock has. Oh, oh, oh. that's some damage. That's Wesker, now. by the way. That is Wesker, so he is utilizing all four <laughs> weapons that Beatrix has. Here, though, Kyrie with the purple buff 
against Zayn, but that's a collapse here. Oh, no. A lot of members placed down onto Kyrie, but he goes in instead to clear out the wave. He maneuvers away, nice and he baits hunt. out the movement from the Valley. Woo! Wasted rotation up top. Wow. The Valley's doing well. Onyx is doing well. Everybody's just playing out of their minds. I, I love this game, right? I, I love the series. We need a best of five, full five games. We need a best of five, full five games. And How about a best is... of seven? Let's go. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. But Onyx versus the Valley, though, right now, the Onyx, Onyx do have this small little advantage. The fact that, okay, the kick going in. That's what the Western's for. My goodness. Onyx with the coordination. Keyboy with the kick. Im Super shot got melted down. We don't usually see that now, but. Man, they, on eSports. Yeah, the patch notes wow. told me that the Wesker got nerfed, but I wasn't expecting this coming off of CW. CW, an artist? He's so creative, dude. What the hell? Yeah, and now he comes, jumps back onto the oh. runner, pokes down the Lord on eSports of the zone. Now with no Super Shark, no one can open up the map. Oh. And it's just a free Lord over on eSports conceded by the Valley. Small little win, small little pick, pick ops. It's the Valley that lost Super Shark first. Onyx was able to convert that kill into a Lord Pit or a Lord on their side. And this is exactly how the Valley likes to play. Onyx Esports, on the other hand, literally copying the strat. Yeah, man, all of these microtransactions from both teams, they're all the traits that we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, the War of Attrition <laughs> has been in there for, what, 12 minutes? And then eventually Onyx finds all places. All of a sudden, they're ahead by 3.3k. And they now have the map control. But that doesn't mean that the Valley is defeated just yet. No. They're just getting outplayed when it comes to the map just because of those small victories that Onyx accumulated all throughout the game. You know what I realized? Well, yep. This Onyx style that they're playing after game one, it really feels like, especially in game three here, it's the banana split that Onyx PH played back in Come M3 on. up against BTK. So they're using BTK's Kryptonite here. That's a exactly. good render shot. Basics taking a half HP. Keyboy was looking for the way the dragon doesn't find it. It's just the Lord marching down, and it's the base turrets now wide open. Kyrie is utilizing this to go for more damage into the mid lane base turret. Uh, now on esports, they back up. Kyrie can't be caught by the valley, especially when you got you know Luminum Blast that you need to charge a lot. And Super Shark wasn't. If he uses the stun, rest assured, the rest of Onyx squad will come in and just run you down in the uh -oh. mid lane. But another thing, Zane, Zane, that Zane, Zane. Oh, oh no, Boba Zane's gonna be caught here. That's the better as well. Dishing the damage out. That's going to be Kyrie jumping into the back line. The cold ultra was placed down by Sans. Why chicken in the back line as well, but it's going to be Boots who is going to be able to the out the split split. Kyrie still able to actually get out there before Sans. Kyrie jumps in again. It's now CW's gunning for chicken down. It's Sans with a triple kill. And it's a 4 for one trade. On an eSports, we're going to get the match point down here in the 16th minute of the game. Hoon is the only member left standing. That's he needs it. to make the miracle That's play. It. Kyrie buys the immortality. Hoon is going to burst it down. The base is wide open. Hoon could fall down to CW. And it's match point for Onyx eSports. Match point for Onyx eSports. Finding that rubber band, pulling it to its tip top maximum length. The tension broke the valley. And Onyx takes one more game. What a performance what a in performance. the third game. That banana split. Hey. Man. They decided, Coach Yip decided that. For